So I have a teenage daughter and I thought if I panic, that's not going to be a good look in our house. Like, you know, the, then everybody's yeah. going to panic, especially if the person who has expert knowledge is panicking, then, yeah, you know. Yeah. So I decided for the sake of our house that I would um, try and be calm. And the one day it didn't work, mm. I freaked everybody out. And that was um, the day that I, so I, my parents were in the UK. Mm. Um, and as so from January, I had been preparing them. They had been getting the house ready, you mm. know, just sort of like every now and again, getting little bits and pieces together. So yep. they sort of, you know, they weren't they weren't hoarding stuff, but, you know, they had the things they need. Um, and at some point I said to my mum and dad, oh, no, it was when Boris Johnson did his speech that was basically every family needs to expect to lose loved ones. Yeah, I remember and that. And so it was like, okay, this is not going well. This, they're choosing the strategy of we're just going to let people die. Mm. Um, and so I, uh, I did a Skype with them and I said, right, you, we're going to book you a ticket. You're coming to New Zealand. Mm. Um, so this was before our border said shut. Mm. I was like, you're coming here. Uh, Pack your bags. Mm. I'm going to book your tickets. And my mm. dad was like, oh, just, you know, just give us a day or so to discuss mm. it. And then I spoke to them two days later. So we, it was our morning, their, um, their evening. And my dad said, we've had a really long think about this and we're not going to come. And I just said, okay, I can't talk to you. And I just got up and I ran off and I was just in like mm. almost hysterical. Mm. And I think that gave them a fright. And it certainly gave my husband and my daughter a fright because they very rarely have seen me that upset. Mm. And I think everyone was just like, oh my God, it's really serious. Yeah. Um, and I actually couldn't speak to anybody for the rest of the day. I was so upset because mm. to me it was just like, okay, the one thing I could have done to keep you safe, I yeah. can't. And mm. now, I, and now I, and what does this mean? This means mm. that it's probably going to be years before we see you again. Mm. And this was basically in early March.